hey guys welcome back to engineers tech up channel so in this video guys i will discuss scl interview question okay which is the latest question so before going for that uh, if you are uh, attending the interview so now these days the common skill set is java selenium cucumber api testing okay git and jenkins so these are the mandatory skills if you are not there in your resume you will get a uh, struggle more to get the interview calls as well okay and if you are not preparing well then you will reject in your interview right so you have to do the proper preparation this video will help you you guys can take your interview okay so when i am going to share this question take your interview and uh, if you are like have a uh, some big point then work on that so what will happen if you are getting calls somewhere so you have some idea what types of the question they are going to ask you panel will be different might be in your panel is different they will not ask you the exactly the same question so many of them are doing the same thing just going for the interview uh, interview question and attending the interview no this is the wrong practice go for the complete syllabus do the proper practice then only you can this interview question will help you what types of the question they are going to ask okay so first question is tell me about yourself so i have made the dedicated video uh, you know for the tell me about yourself as a automation test engineer what you have to speak second question they have asked what are the static keyword in java so if you are if you are weak in the java or if you are beginner so you can watch my tutorial so i have uploaded many video for the java and i have explained the static and all in the very depth so that will very helpful for your uh, you are able to give the answer and we have a practical as well i have given many example as well so next question is can you explain up concept in java see guys so many of the question these are the important topics of the java right up concept if you don't know the up concept right then or if you know also and if you are not clear in the concept so if i if you say what of the up concept i can speak many i can speak around 5 minute and will give you the real time example as well okay so here i am not going to discuss uh, any answer guys so might be coming session i will make the proper answer for the specific question as well okay because the video size will increase if i will go for the uh, questions answer for all this question okay so just i am sharing this question right now okay the answer part if you want you can prepare or you can google it you will get it but coming this i will also make the answer i have a dedicated uh, series for interview question and answer and which all the common questions will collect it and we can probe the we can make the proper answer as well and i will share with you guys but as of now you guys can go through that uh, google or you can search on youtube and in my tutorial also you will go uh, for a specific topic and you can make it what are the collection in java so collection itself is your interface in the java and we have a hierarchy we have a list set okay and we have a separate collection is map right these are the important collection in java but many things are there in collection okay this is very easy thing i have told you right how to handle exception in selenium guys so these all are the common question so when you are writing the script then definitely you are getting many exception like no such element exception right so we might be sometime you are doing some typo your x path is not correct or your uh, i can say we are getting some synchronization issue right so mainly we can handle we have the many ways to handle and we have to check what types of the exception you are getting right we have a wait statement javascript executor and all so accordingly we can whatever the exception you are getting then we can handle it what is no such element exception in selenium so if you are doing the practice definitely this exception you guys get right no such element exception 
sometime what happen uh, your script is very fast so element is not uh, visible or sometime what will happen whatever the expert you have written wrong so in this scenario you will get no such element exception what is the difference between abstract class and interface okay next question so next question is can you tell me some basic command of git okay so that is what i have included in slavers you have to know the basics knowledge of the git like uh, if you are adding add git add then we have a git commit git push so these are the very basics command guys okay and how to next question is how to execute one test cases multiple times so in the test ng we have a one uh, concept called invocation count so by using invocation count we can execute one test cases multiple times when we use next question when we use test ng framework and cucumber framework so they have are this silly question okay so <laughs> when we can use uh, test ng framework and cucumber framework this is depend upon the client requirement if client is looking for hey you can go for test ng then we should go for test ng or if they will ask go for the cucumber yeah better we can go for the cucumber because suppose your manual test case is not ready right in this scenario we can definitely go for the cucumber we can start to write a features file then we can start our automation but your manual test case is already there then definitely either you can go for the cucumber either you can go for the test ng depend upon the client requirement next question is write a code to find a unique character in a string so this question is repeated guys many company they have asked this question okay next we'll move in the next question what is response specification and request a specification this question they have asked from the rest assured okay so in the rest assured we have a concept called response specification and request a specification if you have some common data and in payload in the your request then we can go for request a specification and response suppose you have to validate your status score in your all 10 test cases those things we can implement means the common thing we can implement inside this request a specification and request uh, sorry response a specification so i have already made the api tutorial guys so you can just refer as well i have already discussed with example <coughs> we'll move in the next question how to validate response in rest assured okay so next question is how to validate Res uh, so we have a multiple ways to validate the response uh, data guys so if you have a simple response then you can use json path if you have a complex response then we can use pojo class okay so next question is what is 400 401 and 403 status code so we have a success and we have a error status code in rest in api testing so prepare well and this question they have asked in the interview and we can expect those this question as well in other interview as well why we use selenium and why we use rest assured selenium is also library rest assured is also library if you have a web web automation then we can use selenium rest assured api uh, testing right if you do the uh, you know i can say automation for the api again api we have a multiple things okay but definitely rest assured having the huge library and more method and interface and there so that is what we are going to use rest assured so i think they have asked around 15 question guys so that's it in bit in that's it in this video guys so this video is a bit long if you are new in the channel guys please subscribe my channel press bell icon to get more updated question in my channel so in the next video bye bye